Hi, my name is Sharon Walters and I'm here with the Hospital Rooms. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is the second part of a series of three workshops. I hope you joined me for the first one. If not, please don't worry. You can dive straight in and join me with this session today. So, I am a collage artist. I work, make work which um, explores identity um, and portraiture. I've been creating a series entitled Seeing Ourselves for the last three years. I absolutely love making the work. I always say that, but I genuinely do. Um, I find it really helps me to calm down. It helps me to focus on just one thing because my mind can often race and I can uh, need reining in a little bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, creating this work, you don't actually need any prior experience. So please don't feel as though you need to be an artist in order to make this work. You can literally just um, give it a go. It, as I've said before, it's about the process. So please, I really hope you enjoy this process today. So what we'll be looking at is um, we will be looking at um, bold colours and portraiture. So in your packs, you'll find um, some images, you'll find some silhouettes. You'll also find some words, um, which I've selected for you. And I just want you to think about how you're actually feeling. So um, think about how you're feeling in terms of words, um, in terms of emotions and those words that I've selected for you, but also in terms of colours. So think about colours that you connect with or colours that you might want to connect with that might be slightly more positive if you're not in a particularly positive mood today. Because let's face it, we're not always in that mood. So I think well, let's start with the words. I'm going to think about how I'm feeling today. Um, I'm feeling quite calm. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling quite calm. Uh, so I'm going to pull out that word. I'm going to use scissors. You may not have scissors, which is fine. But just tear the word out that you connect with. So calm. We've got a whole series of words. I feel content as well today. So you can select as many words or as few as you like. You also don't need to select any words at all if you don't want to. The great thing about collage is that it's completely up to you how you approach it. I feel quite refreshed. I had quite a good night's sleep, but I woke up super early. Because I just seem to wake up early these days. I don't think it's got anything to do with my age, so I don't want any of those thoughts, thanks. Um, got lots of words here. I think that's it for me. So, I've got, oh, determined has just fallen out here, so let's use determined. It's obviously meant to be. What I tend to do is just lay everything out, so I don't always um, start gluing straight away. Everyone works in a different way, and that's completely fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop these words on here. Because we've, I've already started to think about how I feel. And I think having these words here might just help me to focus on those words and trying to connect some colours to those words. So, determined. Oh, that reminds me of being quite fiery. <laughs> With this lovely red colour here. So I'm just going to tear out some really large sections here. So you can tear much smaller pieces, you can, tear, you can tear a whole range of different shapes and sizes. But they're quite bold shapes I'm tearing out here. I quite like that, it makes it look as though he, oh, that person has a mask. <laughs> and calm, I quite like the grey for calm. Um, I really don't want you to um, judge yourself too much with this. Just be really playful. You're just here to have some fun. So it's interesting for me. As much as I like the words, 
I'm not sure I necessarily want to use them in the piece. I might use calm in the eyes actually. So I'm positioning this in the area, in the area where the eye would be. I'm just moving pieces around. During the session you probably won't get time to finish a complete piece, but you can continue with it outside of this session. So I started working predominantly in collage only three years ago. Much of my practice before was video and uh, kind of installation work. But after an ankle injury, I could no longer run, so I needed uh, to find another way of relieving my stress. And, uh, and I found collage the perfect thing to work with. I had some magazines lying around at home and I um, just started collaging. I had worked in collage before, but never um, on this scale. Over the last three years, I've created over 250 pieces, and it really does help me to feel much, much better. You can probably tell by my voice as well. <laughs> Everything starts to slow down a bit. So what I'm trying to do here is just to build up my own kind of design. I'm using only bold colours. I'm thinking about being determined. It's almost meditative, I find. Focusing on those words, and I've chosen quite positive words here, I'm finding really, really helpful. Because it would be really easy for me to get quite overwhelmed with the camera in my face, but I'm, I'm not. I'm keeping going. So you may from time to time want to just stop and have a look at what you've created, kind of step back from it and then see if you just want to move anything around. So just really trust what you're doing. You don't need the right answer for this at all. You just go with the flow. When I start a piece of work, I never ever know how it's going to look. And I like the freedom that gives me. I never have a plan, ever. <laughs> Which I know for some people isn't great, but I feel as though so much of life is planned and organised. This is the one space where I can be completely free. So what I will do is I will continue to um, work on this piece and you feel free to work on your piece also. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue a section down. Normally I would just glue right at the end but I really want you to be able to see how to glue the section down. What you might want to do um, if you want to get it in exactly the right spot, is you might want to draw a slight outline so you can see where you want the section to go. And then you can just turn it over. And try not to glue with too much glue so it's too lumpy, but try to get to the edges of the paper. Otherwise it's going to fray slightly. And I can just see there, I've given myself a little template. And make sure you press down so that it's nice and neat. And I'll continue to do that with all of the sections. You might not want to be too particular about where each piece goes, but, um, but yeah. There you go, that just shows you exactly how the other sections will begin to look as you build up the layers. I really am pleased that you joined me for this workshop and um, I hope you'll join me for the third session where we'll be bringing the first two sessions together. Thank you so much.